Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks so much for joining me. In today's video, we are going to be transforming my daughter Elsie's room from a nursery into a toddler room. So let's head upstairs and get started. When I originally designed Elsie's nursery, it was super bright and full of color, which was really fun for her when she was a baby. And now as she's starting to get older, I really wanted to take her room back to a neutral base. And as she continues to get older, that gives me the ability to make small little changes in her room that are budget friendly and can continue to grow with her. Smile at me. <laughs> so, so I gave a lot of thought to the pink color that I wanted to pick out for her room. I wanted to be sure that I was picking something that was going to be a color that would last several years, but still had just a little bit of, um, or gave a little bit of color to her room. So I looked at a couple different pink colors and narrowed it down to this one. The biggest tips that I can give when designing kids spaces is to think about the future. When you are picking out big ticket items like furniture, look for pieces that serve multiple stages in life. For example, her crib turns into a toddler bed and then turns into a full size bed. In her changing table that is on top of her dresser, that piece can be removed and then it's just a normal dresser. That keeps uh, big ticket items very budget friendly because you won't need to replace those. So I just finished up painting with the second coat. Of course I had to run out to Lowe's to get a second can of paint. But anyways, next up we're going to be switching out some artwork on her wall and changing out the bedding and her crib and then adding a few finishing touches. I saw an inspiration photo on Etsy that I used to create the artwork for Above Her Crib. I wanted to keep things budget friendly and then also allow the artwork that I'm using in her room to grow along with her. So I just purchased the frames off of Amazon and I created the prints on Canva. Doing artwork this way gives me the ability to change out the artwork in her room as she gets older, depending on what her interests are. Just these framed prints from Hobby Lobby on sale. Even when you're shopping around for artwork that you are going to be using in a space, I would try to find artwork where you can still change out the prints. So I can reuse these frames, remove the prints as she gets older, and then replace them with other prints that match whatever she likes at that time.
If you have been with my channel for a little while, you all know that I really love to use pieces in my decor that have a story. And that little blanket that I added to her chair was actually handmade for her by a family member when she was a baby. So I think it's really important to incorporate those sentimental pieces into your design as well. going to be going through and adding a few finishing touches to her room just to add a little bit of coziness. I'm adding a few of her favorite books here on her nightstand and I love these little warmy animals. I think they're so sweet. Up here on her shelf, I'm going to be keeping things pretty simple, a few little picture frames. I'm going to be adding this name puzzle just for a little personal touch. And then also I have this book here that is from her dad. It's a very sweet little story about mindfulness. So definitely check that one out. much for joining me today. I really enjoy making all these videos for all of you. If you enjoy this kind of content, a really great way to show your support is to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for joining me today and I will see you soon in my next one.